Hey everyone, Brexit news. Don't look now, but apparently it's gone pretty well. Um, for now, at least, supposedly. You know, people talk about politicians being out of touch, but I always think that for those ministers actually involved in the Brexit process, getting stuff to happen must be a good analogy for us regular voters trying to get an old car to scrape through an MOT for one last time. This week actually started out looking pretty bleak on the Brexit front, and I'm sure that Theresa May was imagining the upcoming news headlines in the way that I used to look forward to an upcoming Shakespeare essay at school. You know, it is it's Sunday night, and you know it's due on Thursday, and you know your claims and what you actually know are further from the mark than when Michael Bay made Pearl Harbor. But for now, things are pretty much on track. You know, sure, the Remainers in the Cabinet are still trying to haggle the EU upwards on the fee side of things. But on the other hand, the EU Federalists seem pretty keen, increasingly keen, really, to get Britain out and get on with the task of subjugating the continental Europeans without pesky nationalism and the sort getting in the way. If we want to look for a real dispute, though, you know, proper gnashing of teeth and wailing, let's look to the wailing wall itself, though, in Jerusalem. This week, President Trump decided to say that Jerusalem was the Israeli capital. And that went down a bit as well as a visit by Martin Schultz to Arlene Foster's house. It annoyed a lot of people. The Palestinians were annoyed. The Arab world were pretty annoyed. And don't forget the regular pub quiz enthusiasts like myself who relied on that knowledge that Tel Aviv was actually the capital to earn themselves that extra point or two every few months. Bizarrely, I saw some Scottish nationalists getting angry on the internet about it. You'd think they'd sort out the Edinburgh versus London capital city debate first, really. But who knows, maybe one day the Middle East will reach a peaceful settlement send an envoy to Glasgow and sort out that ancient Rangers versus Celtic football conflict. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.